It's Saturday, January the 10th, 2009, and on this date I've done a lot of wash, hung it, got most of it in. More importantly, I went out to uh, Yuma Nursery, bought some uh, flowers, some uh, petunias, some pansies, and uh, those tall ones that my wife particularly likes that the word won't come right now, probably come after a while. Got them in the wheelbarrow and into a plant out front. Also took the time to cut a couple of clippings off of the ground of the plant that was given to us when David was killed now 19 years ago. That plant grew and grew well big planter outside the front door for years so it's been growing on the ground since it quit growing in the planter and I'm trying to get it back in the planter along with snapdragons, petunias, and pansies. Well, <clears throat> one memory prompts another one. And of course this is before I joined the army. Donna and I were on a date, and we were being hassled a little bit by some of the Conway Springs boys. So we pretended we were headed for Wellington, headed south out of Conway Springs. And they followed us a mile or two, and when they gave up, we just doubled back to the left. I didn't really know the roads, but I knew kind of where they laid, you know, and uh, ran out of gas. It's the only time it ever happened to me. My younger brother wants told me years and years later that Dad had that figured out how much gas you needed and you didn't have any extra. So I didn't have the extra to be pretending to run away to Wellington. So I said, I'll go to your house and ask your dad for some gas. And she said, okay, and gave me instructions as to the best way to do it. Well, it didn't make any sense to me, and I did know a way to get there. And I went my way, which it turns out was two or three times as far, so I ended up running two, two and a half miles, when about a mile would have done. She wasn't very happy at how long I was gone. And I remember getting barked up by a dog or two on my run that I wasn't too happy either, thinking I might be going to get bit. But when she was a little short-tempered about how come you were gone so long and then disgusted that I hadn't followed the way she had told me, then she said, well, I got a little uncomfortable sitting here by the cemetery. I had no idea I was leaving her by the cemetery. Had she told me it was by the cemetery, I don't know what I could have done, but we might have just walked along together. That wouldn't have been too bad. Nice moonlight stroll. Don't remember if the moon was out or not. But she likes to tell that story about me never following directions, number one. And number two, he left me for nearly 30 minutes to an hour in the dark, sitting in the car, right next door to the cemetery. She's not a spooky person, but I expect a thought or two runs through your mind in that circumstance. Must have been true love. That might have been enough. That maybe is worse than having a gal climb on your lap. I'm pretty lucky she didn't say, that's it, Dean Riggs. Hit the road. 